Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Pants06, or you can just call me Derek, and welcome to Let's Talk. Let's Talk is a video series where I like to talk about me, my life, things that's going around me, as well as things that's kind of interesting that has nothing to do with gaming or movies or whatever. Um, and today, I want to talk about something that means a lot to me, and I just, you know, I found this thing out a few years back because, you know, whenever I was younger, I tried my best to fit in. I never really fit into the same circles. And whenever you're young, like maybe going from elementary school to middle school to high school and to college, you try to fit yourself in with different groups of people. Um, in my case, when I was younger, you know, I, <laughs> I got picked on all the way through my elementary school career until I moved to different schools. Now, um, as it started, I was... Um, uh, I went to a school, like when I was in elementary, it was called Rock Hill, number three, is in the lower, lower part of Ohio, and um, <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to suck my thumb, I used to suck my thumb till I was like 13 years old, and I kid you not, and it took me a long time to break it, and it was like a nervous tick, um, every, every time I would be nervous, I would be doing this, and like... When I was a kid, I got picked on so bad. Probably, I don't think it was 13. I'll take that back. It was 11. That's right, because the, what stopped me from finally doing this was my stepdad finally came in my life. After, you know, my parents had a terrible, my real parents had a terrible, terrible marriage. Like, it was abusive, awful, and just plain bad. And still, you know, that was one of the things I did. I, I would suck my thumb until I was like 11. And once the kids found out about it, and you know what it's like, people like to bully each other, like, a lot. And when you're a kid, it's even worse, because, like, not only did these kids find out that I did this, but, you know, I was also fat, my last name was weird, and I, we wasn't really, really rich, so we didn't have the best of everything, but we had stuff to get by with. So, you know, I got picked on because, you know, A, I was the poor, almost a poor kid, B, you know, I sucked my thumb, C, I was fat, and, you know, so <laughs> throughout elementary school, I tried to make friends. I had some friends, not many, and I tried to make myself, you know, fit into other groups and that didn't work out and once I got into sixth grade it got even worse so at that point we moved to a different school and I was Colgrove or, or Dawson Bryant High School which it was all new to me but I started making friends um, at first it was really really hard in the sixth grade because um, I was a new, new kid so obviously you know I was really quiet I was quiet all the way up until probably my soft year, sophomore year, and that's when I finally starting started to open up. You know, I try to fit in with like the country boys, the uh, the preppy kids, um, <laughs> the nerds, and you know who the outcasts. I was basically for the most part one of the outcasts for the most part throughout my whole school career, um, and that's not a bad thing because you know I didn't fit into any other crowd except for an awesome group of individuals that liked punk rock, video games, uh, card games, was the nerdy kids that liked computers, and just like having fun and making jokes. Uh, and it wasn't until my, you know, junior and senior year when people started talking to me more. Yeah, I was a quiet guy, but I was still, you know, I liked talking to people, helping them out. Uh, but I wasn't by all means popular, but I did have a lot of friends. And, you know, as people, as humans, we like to try to fit in. We want what other people want. We want this pursuit of happiness or the false sense of happiness that maybe if I had all this stuff or maybe if I start acting this way, I can fit in this with this group and I can be accepted. And, you know, then, then sometimes you get into bad groups like the people that's on drugs and, you know, hit people, pick on people. And which I was never into that. I had my uh, my stages in high school was I was the goth kid. I tried that out. So I had this crazy. Uh, I wore black all the time. Crazy weird hair, and that didn't work. So then I moved on to the punk rock side. And you know I was in a punk band. I loved it. I loved it. Me and my friends was a punk rock punk, punk rock band from I think it was a sophomore year, um, all the way up until at least two thousand seven or later. But <laughs> we like to play music. Blink-182 was our idols. And, you know, we dress up in our Atticus and 
DC shoes and you know, we was fine. We, we just had a lot of fun and people talked to us and that was cool. And after I got out of college, a lot of that stuff, you know, kind of went away. So by that time I met all these other friends and I, I built some of the best relationships with these people than any people that I ever hang out with. And, you know, I miss my high school friends. I do. I really do. And they're, they're a part of what makes me, me. Um, all the experiences that I've gained, all the uh, relation, relationships that I had, or just all the people I met, kind of make me into the character that I need to be. And a lot of people don't find this out until much later in life because they're still trying to fit in. You still have, have these people was like, oh man, I'm out of high school and I you know, wish I still had that glory days where I was awesome in football and everybody liked me and I was a cheerleader and all this stuff and now you know I hate my life and right now I, I'm not in the best place where I want to be I have a lot of college experience um, I'm four, four uh, credits away and get my bachelor's degree and I almost have enough credits to get a master's degree but my credits do not work that way because I made some bad choices and the way I scheduled things and the classes I took but I'm eventually going to fix that but you know the thing I want to say the most is you might have people that's, you know, they expect a lot of things out of you. They want you to be a certain person. Um, and they, they don't want you to have, they don't want you to have your sense of free will and um, experimentation. And what I want to say is be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else. Try to make friends because what's going to happen is the more you do with other people, the more people you hang out with, the more experiences you have, it's going to help shape what makes you you. You don't want to be like the other guy, even though you might think so. That other guy is, you know, he is he. He has his own experiences. He has his own problems. But you, you are you. You have your experiences. You have your problems. You have your friends. And... People like to be have meet genuine people. We don't need to see fake people like we see on television, uh, or we go down the street and you see, you know, the the preppy girls and the preppy guys at all jock face and all this stuff. You know, yeah, high school was a popularity contest, and college was not. A lot of people like it got went from high school to college, kind of found out the hard way. But that's not a popularity contest anymore. Life is not a popularity contest. We like to think so because we want to keep up with the Kardashians and that's what <laughs> Hollywood and uh, mainstream media wants us to think. They think if we have the best of everything, if we follow these people, we'll be awesome. But that's not it. You're giving away, if you follow into that, you're giving away what makes you you. And I understand. I've done this myself. I, I am guilty of sin, as sin for doing all these things but like I said just be yourself don't let anybody else tell you how to be um, make your jokes even though they might be bad taste but that's you that's not anybody else you know sometimes you might have to calm things down but that doesn't mean you have to change the way you are because the way you are is the way you need to be and <laughs> I think I think I think get it telling you guys that even though it was kind of a big mess of jargon and words was just kind of fell apart. You know how I am. Whenever I talk about stuff, you know, I kind of go off the beaten path and I stutter a lot. But that's me. That's who I am. That's exactly who I am. If I start editing my videos a certain way to make me look like I'm less of a, <laughs> less of this and more of a fake version of me, then what's the point? So, guys, thank you so much for checking us out. And, again, always be yourself. You know, everybody else is taken. So try to make yourself the best person you can be. And if you have to, you know, go out and meet friends, meet new people. Just don't be a bad person. Don't be a douche. And I'll get to that. <laughs> um, just don't be a douche, okay? I'll make a video later on the douchebag 101 things you need to be a douchebag. And if you like that, you know, go for it. But don't be a douche. Don't be a douche. Be awesome. Be yourself. Be nice. Be friendly. Be happy. And most of all, 
just love one another. That's the greatest thing we can do is just love each other and say hi and be happy and be friends and all that stuff. But again, thank you guys so much for checking us out. My name, of course, is Derek. You can call me Panzo6. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Help this channel grow. And if you like this video, again, share it and leave some comments below. Again, I love you guys and you have a wonderful day.